Very good morning. I welcome you all to the session of thermal engineering basic and applied. And in this lecture, we shall solve two numerical problems on the gas turbine cycle. And I should say that these two problems are the last problems of this course. So, this is the first problem. Let me read out the problem statement first. A gas turbine unit or cycle operates on Breton cycle or a gas turbine operates on Breton cycle between two temperature limits of 300 Kelvin and 150 one Kelvin. Find the maximum work done per kg of air and corresponding cycle efficiency. Then we need to show how does this efficiency compare with the Carnot efficiency operating between two same temperature limits. So, let us solve this problem. So, it is given you know T max equal to 11.50 Kelvin, T mean equal to 300 Kelvin and we need to calculate what would be W net max maximum work done per kg of air. So, air is the working fluid right. If you try to recall in one of the previous classes, we could establish the maximum work done that is the work done corresponding to optimum pressure ratio, because we never can achieve maximum pressure ratio and that is equal to C p into root T max minus root T mean whole square. And if we plug in the value of C p that is for the air 1.005 kilo joule per you know kg Kelvin into root 1150 minus root 300 whole square. And if we calculate it, we will be getting this units would be kilo joule per kg and this is equal to 276.62 kilo joule per kg. Right? So, this is the maximum work corresponding to optimum pressure ratio, because maximum pressure ratio is not easily achievable. So, next uh, we had to calculate maximum work done per kg of the working fluid and so unit is kilo joule per kg. Next is we have to calculate cycle efficiency. So, we know eta cycle equal to 1 minus 1 upon R p power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. right? So, this also can be written in terms of the maximum and minimum temperature of the cycle. This also we could establish that cycle efficiency corresponding to optimum value of R p, it is 1 minus root T mean divided by root T max. And if we plug in the value, it is 1 minus root 300 divided by root 1150 and this is coming as 48.92 percent. So, you can understand that cycle efficiency is less than even 50 percent. That is what we have discussed or we have mentioned se several times. So, this is cycle efficiency of course, this cycle efficiency is Breton cycle efficiency. So, this is Breton cycle efficiency. Now, we also could establish what would be the you know Carnot efficiency. That means, if we now consider that the Breton cycle is you know operating between two temperature limits and considering the same temperature limits if we consider the Carnot cycle, then eta Carnot cycle efficiency will be equal to 1 minus T mean by T max and that equal to 1 minus 300 divided by 1150 and that is equal to 73.91 percent. So, you can understand 
that Carnot cycle is basic is one of the ideal cycles and efficiency following the Carnot cycle should be certainly higher than the Bateron cycle efficiency and that is uh, what we can see from this. Now, question is the last part of this question was how does this efficiency compare with the Carnot efficiency operating between two same temperature limits. That means, what we need to do we need to consider eta Breton divided by eta Carnot and that equal to if we uh, we know this is the Breton cycle efficiency and it is the Carnot cycle efficiency. So, it should be certainly less than 1 and it is 0 0.66 right. So, Breton cycle efficiency is 0 0.66 times of the Carnot cycle efficiency. Oh, so, we can understand that uh, gas turbine units those run on the Breton cycle efficiency is significantly small than the Carnot cycle. If we now move to the second problem, the problem statement is a gas turbine operates on Breton cycle for this unit air is taken at 1 atmospheric pressure and 300 Kelvin. The air is compressed to 8 atmospheric pressure and maximum cycle temperature obtained is 1050 Kelvin by using large air fuel ratio. So, it is already given that the air fuel ratio is very large which in a way indicates that we can you know assume that the mass flow rate of the working fluid is m dot a only equivalent that is mass flow rate of air only. The equivalent heat addition uh, given to the combustion is 120 megawatt. So, this is not going to this is given to the combustion is 120 megawatt we need to consider we need to calculate the followings thermal efficiency of the cycle work ratio power output and exergy of the exhaust gas leaving the turbine. So, this should be uh, equivalent uh, heat addition given to. So, this is not going this should be given to. So, we can solve the problem you know first as I had discussed many times we need to tabulate the data given in the problem statement. So, here it is given that T 3. So, if we draw the T s diagram this is the T s diagram So, this is P 2 P equal to P 2 this is P equal to P 1. So, this is uh, 3 1 2 3 4 ok. So, T 3 is given that is maximum temperature that is uh, 1050 Kelvin T 1 equal to 300 Kelvin P 1 equal to 1 atmospheric pressure and it is also given that the air is compressed to 8 atmospheric pressure. So, 1 to 2 is the compression process we have discussed so many times. Now, P 2 equal to 8 atmospheric pressure. So, therefore, R P that equal to compression ratio equal to P 2 by P 1 that equal to 8. So, we can write all these from the problem statement. So, what would be the cycle efficiency? So, therefore, eta cycle equal to 1 minus 1 upon R p power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. So, it is given here. So, we can consider gamma equal to 1.4 and if we plug in the value here that is 1 minus 1 upon 8 power 0 0.4 divided by 1.4 and it is coming as 44 percent 0 0.44. So, this is the cycle efficiency right. So, the first part of this number 1 that is solution of this first part of the problem is thermal efficiency and that is 44 percent. Now, from this T s plane we can also calculate T 2 by T 1 and T 3 by T 4 because this two are the compression and expansion using air you know uh, air standard 
equation ideal gas equation. So, T 2 by T 1 that equal to P 2 by P 1 power gamma minus 1 upon gamma and P 2 equal to P 3 by P 4 that P 1 equal to P 4. So, gamma minus 1 upon gamma that equal to T 3 by T 4. Right? So, this is also R p, this is also R p. So, from there what we can calculate is you know that from there we can calculate T 2 equal to T 1 into R p power gamma minus 1 upon gamma. So, that is you know 543 point 4 3 Kelvin. So, we know T 1 because T 1 is 300 Kelvin and R p that is P 2 by P 1 that is 8. So, this R p equal to 8. So, we can calculate T 2. Similarly, we also can calculate T 4 that is you know T 3 divided by R p power gamma minus 1 upon gamma and it is coming as 579.79 Kelvin. So, this is the problem you know temperature value you can understand that the rise in temperature of the working fluid at the end of the compression is even less than the temperature of the exhaust gas. So, substantial amount of energy is getting lost because T 4 is even higher than T 2. Okay. Then next we can calculate the compression work W c that equal to C p into T 2 minus T 1 right and that if we write that is 1.005 T 2 equal to you know T 2 equal to 543.43 minus 300 and that is kilo joule per kg. And expansion work or turbine work, turbine work that is W T equal to C P into T 3 minus T 4 and that is 1.005 into uh, T 3 equal to 1050 that is given and T 4 equal to 579.79 unit is again kilo joule per kg right. So, work ratio work ratio that we have to calculate here for this problem that is W C minus W sorry W T minus W C divided by W T. So, this should be W C only this is W T and we if we calculate it, it is coming as 0 0.48. So, work ratio is very less 0 0.48 and finally, we have to calculate power output. So, we know that this is the power output. So, this is eta cycle into q in because we know the cycle efficiency power output but total work output by q in is equal to cycle efficiency. So, instead of work we are writing power output is equal to eta cycle into q efficient q in. So, what is q in? So, we have to calculate q in otherwise we cannot obtain power output. So, this is one answer that is work ratio you know cycle efficiency is another one answer. So, next what we can do we can calculate the heat addition to this unit. So, heat addition cube in equal to m dot C p into T 3 minus T 2 and that is equal to given you know that is 120 megawatt. So, in the last slide in the last slide 
So, this eta cycle equal to given that is 0 0.44 you know, 4 and this is equal to 120 megawatt. So, this would be 52.8 megawatt. So, Q in is already given, we have no need to calculate Q in that is already given 120 megawatt because in the problem statement it is given that the heat addition because of this combustion is equivalent to 120 megawatt. So, this is you know, so this is 120 megawatt that is this kilowatt. So, from there we can calculate m dot that is 1 to 120 megawatt divided by C p into T 3 minus T 2 that is 1050 minus 543.43 and equal to and this C p is equal to 1.005. So, 1.005 and this is coming as 235.70 kg per second and the final part of this problem is energy flow of the exhaust gas sorry exergy flow of the exhaust gas that is you know delta S that is m dot c p t naught into t 4 by t naught minus l n t 4 by t naught. So, here we have already calculated mass flow rate, we know c p this is 1.005 mass flow rate is 235.70 kg per second that is kilo joule per kg Kelvin and T 4 already we have calculated and this T naught is T ambient that is 300 Kelvin. So, already T 4 we have calculated and this T 4 is 579.79. So, we can understand that in this expression this is the exergy flow of the exhaust gas. So, amount of exergy energy that will be released with the exhaust gas this is the expression. I am very much sure that you know this expression because you have studied it in basic thermodynamics course. So, knowing the mass flow rate that we have calculated from here we can easily calculate what would be this quantity. So, to summarize we have solved two different problems and while solving these two different problems we have tried to illustrate the concept that we have learned from the you know theoretical discussion of this particular module of this course. I hope you have learned the steps those are needed to follow while solving a particular problem. As I said that these two problems are the last problems of this particular course and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Mm -hmm.